I asked the addict here, if you've checked out my video before where I fly in 40 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour gusts of winds with Diatone F1, should be up there, up there, somewhere. Check this out. A shizzle dizzle. Diatone it's the big Tizzle with the Snoopy Deal Double G. Frankenstein, if you want to call it that. What have I been missing? Seriously, what have I been missing using FR Sky? Sorry to slate you guys, but this came with an FR Sky receiver. And if you're watching my previous video, yeah, the RSSI is pretty much goes down to about like 55 60 the length of a whole rugby pitch and yeah it's a tiny quad but i'm used to express lrs and that didn't that didn't cut it for me so look at that little express lrs antenna 20 kilometers well, they reckon that I'm not going to be flying that, but I just want to be flying a bit more than one rugby pitch. And as for the communications, the telemetry, all I was getting before was four items, and none of them were really useful. RX battery, uh, receiver battery, uh, showed five volts, you know, dropped down a little bit. Anyway, check this out now. This is my telemetry now. And all I've done is solder four patches. So we've got RSSI, so link decibels. Transmitter power, 100 milliwatts. I'm not sure if that's the link decibels, actually. TRSS. I'll have to look up uh, on the web. Um, to link quality 100%. As I move it away, it gets more. Um, so it even tells me what flight mode I'm in. Stabilised. Uh, receiver battery. Yes. 10.9 volts. Current. 1.2, 1.3 amps. Capacity. 101 milliamps 102 milliamps so battery 33 percent left yeah i know pitch and roll and your you know seriously what have i been missing so all i have done is change the four wires that were connected anyway to rx1 and tx1 to RX2 and TX, you know what I mean, RX1 and TX2, TX1 on this. The only problem is, what I've had to do is kind of sandwich it in there with some double-sided tape. But that tape's going to hold it. That ain't coming out of there, seriously. The other thing I did while it was off was, well, I thought I might as well soldier on a buzzer. So, where does the buzzer go? There. Yes. Look at that. And that is stuck solid, seriously. Tested it, and it's fine. So this little bad boy now has gone from no telemetry to absolutely brilliant by just adding my old faithful Matex system Express LRS and those who are um, like me I, I, I've only got Windows 7 you know I, I, I've got two laptops, Windows 7, and and everything's on there. Uh, and the Express, uh, I have to do it on my phone. Uh, so just download the, the app for your phone. Um, you don't have to use Speedy B for this. I use Speedy B for my, for, for my diatone. But for this, uh, just use the um, Beta Flight Configurator. Uh, change... Uh, 
obviously the RSI, RSSI readout. Otherwise, you're going to get warnings all the time um, from Channel uh, 4, Auxiliary 4. Um, and then uh, then uh, jobs are good. And so I just wanted to tell you and show you. There they all are. Look at that, man. That is wicked. And look, if I look, if I, if I scroll down... So, stabilise mode. Okay, it's unarmed. Let's see if it changes. Acro mode on. And look at... Woo -hoo -hoo, yes, man. That's badass, man. Light mode angle. Yes, mate. So, also, if... Let's go. Let's have a look. Your roll... Oh, look at that. Battery 23%. So I better get off the air. So, guys, I think it was 13 quid. Yeah. Maytex Express LRS. Get your solder out. Don't be scared. It's a, bit, it's a bigger one than the Happy Model. Solder it. And you're going to change this into something else. So I hope that helps some of you. Now it's sim time. <laughs> Take care, RC Addicts.